Hi, I'm Trevor Lund of RevGrub.com, and I've uh, done up a written review for the, Vi the Voice New Testament, and I thought I would also do a video one up. So when it's on my site, you'll have the, both the video and the written one. <laughs> and I did get this from McGrath. Oh, let me just see. Um, <laughs> who gave it to me? <laughs> Too many windows up. I got it from Grath Martin Communications. That's who it is, yeah. Anyway, they give out uh, free books to bloggers if they uh, will do agree to do up reviews. And um, I'm, I'm a sucker for new translations. I really do enjoy reading new translations, and this one's no different. Now, The Voice is trying to straddle how you can translate like basically when you translate you're you're either going to do like this is any language from from any language to any other language doesn't matter if it's the bible doesn't matter what it is you're going to translate either thought for thought word for the word or concept for concept it's all on the same continuum it's all you know <laughs> to say word for word translation it, you can't do that with the greek structure into english because greek nouns and <laughs> verbs agree because of what's on the end of them, uh, not how close they are to each other. And so like Paul does, I think in Galatians, there's about five chapters that are one sentence. Very difficult to follow if it's not translated into English <laughs> in a way that we can understand. So really, um, what the voice tries to do is to... Uh, their term. They're, they're kind of meshing all of that. So they want to be as close as possible, word for word as, as possible. But then they also want to throw in their own ideas. And uh, quite honestly, it reads to me a lot like when I read the Quran. I don't read the Quran devotionally, but I have read it, uh, at least portions of it, and I do want to read all of it. And um, they're just better stories. <laughs> There are better stories in the Quran than we have in the Bible because the Quran uh, puts in words that aren't there. And that's what the voice does. It puts in words that aren't there. And I'm okay with that. Like they try to, like in the Gospels, they um, try to make it more of a story, like a, like a play almost, like Jesus and then dot, dot, and he says it. And then the crowd, dot, dot, they say it. And the disciples, dot, dot, they say it. And, and it, it, I don't know if that reads so well. Um, the, the things that I don't like about the voice... First of all, it's, um, oh, what am I trying to say? I do read it devotionally, and I've, I'm almost through the New Testament now, so that's why I'm doing up the video review now. When I wrote up the review, I didn't quite read it all. Um, the, the things that I don't like it doing, it, it's quite inconsistent. Uh, what it tries to do is it'll put words and phrases that they've thrown in there, with uh, in in italics and there's quite a few times where I found that it's not in the Greek and they throw it in there and it's not italicized. Um, I think sometimes when I'm reading it is like they their comments miss the best point in the in in the uh, in the text and uh, they're preaching. You know they're they're trying to tell their story the way that they want to. It's kind of like ah, I'm not too. Thrilled with that. Some glaring things that, that really jump out at me. They call angels messengers of God, which they are. I mean, you can do that. But I really feel like it's a, a cop-out because, you know, if you followed me, there's I really do have this. Uh, I'm not ready to give the term angels over to the New Age movement. I'm not ready to say, okay, because people do up TV shows about angels that we just stop talking about angels. We'll call them messengers of God, okay? That's what I sense that they're doing with the book. Don't like it. The thing that kind of really ticks me off, though, not ticks me off, I shouldn't say that, but they they take out the word apostles and they say emissaries. And, and this is not the right word, okay? To call an apostle an emissary. An emissary is somebody who comes from a sovereign to a sovereign to, to negotiate, to you know, either declare war or to say, okay, can you change? Can If we give you this, will you give us that? That's what an emissary does. That's not the role of the apostle. The apostle is not 
a Christian term. It's not a Jewish term. It's a Roman term. And the, in, in Rome, the apostle was the one who went into an area that was conquered to make Roman rules, to make Roman roads, to make Roman baths, to, make, to bring Roman culture into the place that was conquered. And so when Jesus chose the term apostle for his 12, he was calling them culture changers. He wanted them to go in and change the ground for what he's going to win at the cross. And you get none of that in this translation. They're emissaries. Ooh, emissaries. Anyway, um, I do read it devotionally. And I guess I am getting the full version of the Bible. And so I probably will read the Old Testament too in it. And um, the... I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not really, you know, I probably won't preach from it, um, <laughs> but I will read it devotionally. That's my take on The Voice New Testament. I'm Trevor Land at RevTrev.com. What do you think about it? Have you read it? Let me know.